Anybody else would like to comment? Yeah, so my name is Steve. Um, would you push the button on that microphone? So my name is Steve. I was at the last council meeting. You need your first and last name. No, thank you. Um, I'm remaining anonymous. So I was at the last council meeting, July 24th. Uh, I requested permission to record on July 14th. Received that permission. Also followed all guidelines that, that are requ uh, required, which I agree with. Um, sat in here, was quiet. Rec recorded on a GoPro with the same setup I have here now. Uh, within one minute of coming into the room, I was arrested and every single one of you sat here and watched it. Uh, there is no requirement to request permission to record a public meeting. The court case, which I gave you guys my tour claim and I submitted the Supreme Court ruling to these guys, which ignored it and the sergeant said, good, I hope you sue and I hope you get a lot of money. I don't mean to cut you off, we're not going to litigate this thing at this point. I, it's my time to talk, so no, thank you. Not, yes, not, always, well, yes, it is. Roosevelt versus New Jersey. Well, you can. Yeah, you can so it's my time to talk. So no, you guys have, broke the law. It's my time to talk. You guys broke the law. You guys arrested uh, me and this other gentleman here. You arrested Chris another time. You guys broke the law. You have the tort claim already put on file. Um, I am suing. The ACLU is... is the ACLU was already contacted, already reached back out to me, along with the original attorney from Taurus versus uh, Pine Hill. They're on board. They said my rights were violated. Everything was recorded. So you guys are a sunk ship. There is no requirement to ask daddy for permission to record a public meeting. This is our right. It's a common law right. You don't have the right to stop it. So glad you guys violated the law. Um, so we're, we're going to get a nice little paycheck uh, for violating the law. Um, it's absolutely disgusting what you guys do. It's absolutely disgusting what you guys do. Thinking you, you can do whatever you want. Your sergeant can care less. Uh, every single officer that was there that day, I gave in the Supreme Court ruling and no, we're not going to look at it. We're just going to arrest you and charge you with NJSA 33-8, which is physically interfering with a public meeting. I sat down, so did this gentleman. Within one minute, we were arrested and taken out of here. How did we physically interfere with anything? Can you answer that? No. No, because we didn't. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you all, just one second though. This is that portion of the meeting. If you're not going to stay for the remainder of the meeting that you get to speak. We can stay too. It's not the public portion. So okay. if you speak during this portion, then yeah, generally it's something that is not on the agenda and that and it says no. and then you won't be staying for the remainder. You're more than welcome to to speak now, but then I'm just pointing that out. This is not the public session. Okay. okay. Well you should be ashamed as a former governor too, allowing that to happen. All right, I do remain remain anonymous. Um, I was here at twenty fourth. I came and I walked into this room. I was in the back. All the way at the end. Um, just keeping it to myself, to remain private. I was with this gentleman. He had, had prior permission. So we were coming to the meeting to film and we were able to do so. Okay. Um, on March 7, 2007, New York, New Jersey Supreme Court unanimously held that videotaping public meetings as part of the common law right to obtain information. And Chief Justice James R. Zazelli, hope I'm saying that right. It's right the court explained openness is a hallmark of democracy, a sacred maxim of our government, and video mm -hmm. is but a modern instrument in that evolving pursuit. The use of modern technology to record and review the activities of public bodies should marshal pride in our open system of government, not muster suspicion against the citizens who conduct the recording. Okay, that comes from the Supreme Court. And the lack of transparency within this governing body here in Lava Left. It's, it's as if there's a giant black curtain that's just been shut and nobody can do something that's a common law right. Um, what happened to me, what I was charged with, was what was done to me. Um, the officer physically interfered, he disrupted the meeting, and then I was charged with doing so. I think that's a pretty 
backwards reality to have happen. I also think it's a little problemsome that the unconstitutional, unlawful order came from the father of the arresting officer. Um, there's a reason why there's check and balance systems mm -hmm. within government bodies. It's so those kinds of things can't be abusive and corrupt, mm -hmm. as what we have all experienced here in Model mm -hmm. Striving for transparency within government bodies should be something that you should be penalized for it. Um, you guys really need to think about the message that you're sending when you arrest people for a filming meeting. It's multiple arrests at this point. You guys have no problem arresting people for filming the meeting. I think that's really disgusting and vile. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else to make a comment? Thank you, Dr. State, for your hands the meeting. I am El Rapador. I am with Sativa Cross dot org or 501c3. Here in New Jersey, one to get advocating for disabled and wheelchair accessibility and cannabis patients' rights. It's a shame that the level of taxpayers have to pay for this type of ignorance. It's the, that's that's really the, the problem here. They're gonna have to pay for this. Mm -hmm. And I, I want them to know that they have to pay for this because they're gonna get a big settlement from this. The ACLU laughed when they heard about this case because this was decided on by the Supreme Court, New Jersey. Uh, your police officers have lost their qualified immunity by violating their own constitution, so they're gonna be sued personally. Yeah. So you got three problems here. A lot mm -hmm. of you really need to change your energy and maybe go to church and uh, pray to Jesus or something. I don't know. You, there's a disconnect here somewhere. Maybe pray. Pray for yourselves. I'll pray for you too. We have won awards about from the state. We have joint resolutions for our work with the disabled. We have federal uh, citations for our work with the disabled. We try to make the world a better place. And when you violate people's rights, that is not making the world a better place. And my, my reason for coming here is because you took away the wheelchair mats, or you didn't order the wheelchair mats, because they were ugly. And what I understand, now there's no wheelchair mats, so there's no wheelchair access to the beaches here. Uh, I believe you should have last first. I believe these, these should be Zoom meetings available to disabled vets. For 19 months, you gave people access to these meetings. For 19 months, you gave it to healthy people. And disabled people were along for the ride. And when you make a change like that and go back to in-person meetings, you have all these disabled people in the lurch. And there's this process for that. On the Title II of the ADA, there's a process. You have to have a transition period, a big question and answer, a grievance procedure. Your ADA coordinator needs to be involved. And I don't even think you guys have an ADA coordinator. Any, any entity with 50 members or more has to have an ADA coordinator. You don't have that. So you need to get that. You need to get on board with the ADA and put the last first and take care of the sick and disabled vets. Thank you. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not bury them nor the years from them. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. Anybody else like to make a comment prior to the, uh, that's not on the agenda? Oh. 31 years ago, I worked for the Lava Police. The beach police. If Mr. Le Cicero was not mayor, Christian Le Cicero would not even be a police officer, let alone chief. The fact that Christian Le Cicero is not chief is scary. If I say something inappropriate, how many seconds do I have before I get arrested? If I say something deemed inappropriate, Mr. Attorney, would you like to answer that? No. I think it's convenient that the mayor is just making sure no one's sneaking up behind me. Like they did at the other meetings, they arrested me. Um, I was violently arrested. <coughs> These guys were arrested. I was violently arrested. On, with body cameras. He thought, like, could you close the computer for a second? It seems like she's hiding, she's hiding behind the computer. She's just like she's hiding the body camera footage and the, uh -huh. there's surveillance footage from in here. I have, I have a lot of power. There was a mm -hmm. evacuation of the post office, which is a federal building, on April 10th of 2022. Sergeant Le Cicero cooperated with Mr. Colin Grant. And Joanne uh, Philippone tries to justify this fake bomb threat when a girl I was dating, wearing booty shorts and a tight shirt, ran out to use the bathroom and left. 
There was a fake bomb threat in the end. He looked puzzled. This building was evacuated. Colin Grant has lost his mind before he retired. This was his last hurrah. It was a Vladimir Putin-style attack to hospitalize me. And it, it's, it caused me extreme uh, destabilization of my life. I lost my Volkswagen Tour because of that. I wasn't about to turn myself in and answer to a fake bomb threat uh, based to have me hospitalized. For my girlfriend at the time, running in to use the bathroom and running back out. They didn't want to pull us over. They didn't want to talk to her. They didn't, oh, I don't even want to say hypotheticals because someone, I don't even want to be sarcastic or anything. You don't, you guys will try to charge me with something. Ms. Philippone said, what is a bomb threat? It's a suspicion. It's a suspicion. Is it a reasonable suspicion? Mm -hmm. I was on the phone with Sar Chief LeCicero. He said, if I see you and you look suspicious, I'm going to stop you. His father's an attorney. Mr. Lamb, you're an attorney. Your son is an attorney who violently arrested me and broke my finger. I have a bone chip on my middle finger still. He's violently arrested me. These, these arrests are recorded, but I haven't seen them. You cannot stop someone for suspicion. These officers who are sons of council members, former chief, former police officer, Mr. LeCicero, Mayor LeCicero, former police officer, they don't know the law. It's scary for me. It's scary for me. I was arrested on March 2nd of 2020. I asked for permission for everyone to record the meetings. I was during COVID. I live streamed the meeting to Facebook, and then they kicked me out of the Facebook group. And now I can't get that footage either, where these officers force younger officers to lie on police reports, corrupting their entire career. I wasn't loudly narrating as it's spelled in the police report. I wasn't loudly narrating. You, you, these, these officers, your son, Justin Lamb, lies on police reports. That's, that's atrocious. It's atrocious. And the prosecutor's office backs you guys up every time. Does this corruption spread to the Attorney General's office as well? They threw my, they took my surfboards off the beach and th basically gave my surfboards away. That's all on body camera footage. Where's the footage? I just have no right to touch my belongings on the beach. Threw away my bananas. I was going to eat later. I have low energy from radiation treatment and other hardships I've suffered. After Hurricane Sandy, while well, you guys were all hoarding your power and conspiring to gain even more control of this beach politically, I was out risking my life taking pictures of every resident's house I could get to, harassed by the police, posting pictures on the Lavalette Boardwalk Facebook group. It's pathetic, the way these officers behave and corrupt the younger officers. I feel for these younger officers who have their whole career ahead of them and are forced to sign their name to complaints that go directly against digital video evidence. It's sickening. I have a daughter with Down syndrome. She's got two older brothers. The prosecutor's office is m more corrupt than you guys, if, if you can believe that. They back you guys up on everything. It's sickening what you guys are doing here. You should be in your normal seat. You're not the mayor. Your son should be fired and on the Brady list. Let's release this body camera footage. Let's have some transparency. Where's all the body camera footage? Where's the footage of this evacuation? I wonder why I didn't get it. Because they're all kind of laughing. Ha ha. Adam was there. Adam helped organize it. And Sergeant LeCicero, him and he and Colin Grant, a fake bomb threat in order to hospitalize me. All right? Yeah, you're up. Okay. okay. Yep. And the mayor called me a Ben. And video recorded me. And supposedly there's no record of that. And I'm going to stay for the rest of the meeting in my capacity as the press. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody else have a comment prior to? Uh